Hi, everybody. It's Mark Rushton of MarkRushtonGallery.com. It is Thursday, June 29th, 2023, and uh, Brilliant Blue finished it the other night. Here it is. It's in the gallery as well. There's a link in the description. Just a small little acrylic ink and acrylic paint on spun bonnet olefin painting. This one's all dressed up here. It's in the uh, pre-cut mat and the the uh, white matte wood frame. Very nice. And uh, really like how that came out. That's that's brilliant. Brilliant blue. Unlike all the skies around here, which are full of nothing but smoke. Haze. So, have to dream about our uh, skies, right? Yeah. And so, well, you know, I've, let's let's take this out of its frame. Put it in the catalog. See if it ever gets picked up, right? So if you buy it without the frame, it just comes with the uh, the work mounted to cardstock with Tyvek tape and uh, a pre-cut mat on top. Very reasonably priced. Here's some of the other paintings, recent paintings that are, uh, I believe they're in the gallery. Let's go a little further down here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nice stuff. Well, this goes, this goes, wow. Oh, yeah, okay. Beyond the city's limits. What else we got here? Blanket status, late dusk. Expanse Wonder, Blanket Status, Beyond the City's Limits. So we got a nice spot for this painting right in here, building that body of work. Put that in there. Come on, don't be shy. Oh, Cry out loud, get in there. There we go. All right, that's real nice. On to making a new painting. Last night I was off. Did not... Uh, off seeing a movie. Went and saw The Outsiders. My buddy Tom. And that's... I I think I'd seen part of it a long time ago. I'd never seen... I don't think I'd see, I don't know if I'd really see, maybe I saw the whole movie a long time ago, but it's been a long time. What am I going to paint tonight? How did that get down there? That shouldn't be there. Well, I'll get something uh, added here in just a second. Try to figure out what I wanted to paint. That's half the battle. Now, this is a mess. Let's work on this one. Summer Gone. In the world was I thinking with this one here? So dismount this. Maybe this was just a work in progress. Yeah, that's that's unfinished. Let's finish it. <laughs> Let's try to finish it, right? Right? Let's try to finish it. Is this thing sideways? What's going on here? I'm trying to get a good position here. All right. I think we're going to start. Well, first I got to get it secured down here a little bit. Tomorrow's Friday. Don't really have any plans other than uh, try to get rid of my scratchy voice. Thanks, thanks, Canadian ar arsonists, right? Wow. 
was I going to talk about tonight? You know, I was thinking about talking about NFTs, non-fungible tokens. <clears throat> and I didn't put that in the description, but I was thinking about talking about NFTs because... Yeah, we'll start with this here. I'm one of those guys that just I don't get the whole NFT thing because if you're an artist and you do any sort of publicity out on Instagram or Facebook the the bots and the scammers are thick they're thick as thieves and they're always i i would like the i'd like your artwork as an nft then of course if you uh do any searching for anything it's you know you're better off buying a timeshare <laughs> I think. And uh, at least you have some place to stay. But NFTs, I know. I know they're a real thing. I know. Yeah, there's a few people out there who, you know, sell them and whatever, know how to do that. But there's, there's too many people out there scamming normal people artists with the nft thing visual artists thinking that it's something you know but it's 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 not it's not oh it's it's the future we heard the same argument with ai or whatever they call ai these days you know oh it's the future's gonna get better and oh, artists are making a mistake by not does, does your grandma own? Does your grandma own an NFT? Right? Do you know anybody? Oh, I, I have some. Okay. It's always, it's always those uh, dude bros. It's always those dude bros that they get their NFTs and whatever. I just, you know, the thing that bothers me is uh, just the scammers out there preying on the older artists, you know, and that there's so many, uh, so many artists out there and they're all like, uh, oh, hey, uh, well, how do, how do I do this? I, I feel like I'm missing out on something. You're not missing out on anything. You're not missing out on anything. Oh, oh. I, well, I saw this article here. Oh, yeah. Why is the article there? Why is why is that article got such good ranking on the search engine? Do you know? Do you know why? It's not. It's not SEO, guys. Just gonna play around with that for a little bit there. It's not SEO. And then it's so prevalent on, it's the Zuckerberg properties, as I like to say. It's so prevalent on Instagram and Facebook and and then there's always, there's always somebody out there defending it well you 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 can't you can't you can't paint a broad brush on the whole of nfts well yeah i can yeah i can because it's it's most of the uh, nft stuff that's going on is, is are, are scammers 
scammers. So, you know, until you do something about that, you, you deserve the whole of the NFT thing deserves nothing but pushback. my opinion you go make your nfts if you want go ahead if you're an artist yeah go do that if you if you can figure that one out have fun you get a you get somebody willing to pay you whatever do it but the whole thing just sounds scammy to me you know it's like well artists are missing out and you know, if somebody resells that NFT in the future for more money, like, how's that going to happen? Oh, that's the way the future's going to be. I, I, I'm not so sure about that. I mean, how many of those uh, crypto dude birds have read? Uh, Walter Benjamin, you know, mechanical, what's his essay? Mechanical reproduction in the, or art in the age of mechanical reproduction. This is written in the 1930s. Walter Benjamin would have hated today. What would Andy Warhol do? Well, you know, he, he, he's Andy Warhol. So, you know, somebody would buy his NFT. He'd be into it because, well, oh, I can make money and I'm lazy. and Not lazy, but he was never lazy. He was, Andy was always working class, but he always wanted to get things going, you know. So it seems I, you know, I've read enough of this stuff. A little pink, maybe. You think pink? Put a little pink in that landscape. Oh, dang it. I don't know if I want it that much. Load it up. So yeah, until you do something about the uh, NFT scammers and just the whole just jankiness of uh, NFT in, in general. Sorry, I'm not on board. I'm not on board. Not on board with the NFTers. Not on board with the crypto dude bros. Not on board with the bot scammers. Just not. That doesn't make me a Luddite. That doesn't make me a throwback, a moss back, a... or any of that. It doesn't, but I just, you know, I just don't like to see people getting scammed, especially artists, you know. Artists got enough to deal with. Right, it's hard enough, hard enough gig. Whatever art you're in, you know, it's a hard gig. You know why? Because everybody can do it. Everybody can do it. Not everybody's got that personality, you know, for uh, making a comfortable living off of it very rare this is interesting i like where this is going it's got a little bit of yellow in it that's okay just want to kind of lighten this up here a little bit or fog it up smoke it up <laughs> We're just supposed to we're just supposed to believe the tech scammers. We're supposed to believe them. 
every single thing that they say. Clickbait media controlled by whom? Who pays the bills, guys? Advertising down here and there. Well, hey, let's invite the scammers on, right? Think that doesn't happen? Oh, no, no, no. We've got that. No. People that work in security and tech dealing with so many threats constantly. Good businesses out there, you know? Ransomware. You know, people scamming old people's computers. And, you know, please call Microsoft at one, you know, some, some number. Right. Make the turn make the voice stop. Well, I think I'll just pay them money. And yeah, a lot of people do that. Ransomware. Look at that. Wow. What did I do? Had a little conversation of about NFTs and scammers and ransomware. And I ended up with this. Get this. Uh, let's get this a little more straightened out here. We got. It's just gonna mess with my uh, my thumbnail here. Where do we got? Pull that back there. My nose is ruined. All right, let's put this on here. It's still got to dry, but you know. what are we going to do? Like that? Like that? That's pretty good. About like that. About like that. Get this a little closer here. Turn that. There you go. Hold that there for a little bit. Get that thumbnail. You know. Clean my hands. Clean my. Uh... Clean the tools of the trade. That paint. So anyway, that's that's my rant about NFTs and scammers, and it's 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 hard enough for artists without that stuff going on. Just just focus on making your art. Quit quit trying to you know jump on the trends and the fake trends and the manipulation out there it's like the online you know social media social media do we really need that did we really was that really such a good idea just wondering social media was it really good like youtube's fine i got my little show here that a few people watch but social media Yeah, maybe that was a mistake. How do we how do we back out of that one, right? A lot of people have backed out over the last what 14, 15 years. People still at it. Young kids these days. I'm gonna be an influencer. What? What is an influencer anyway? What are you influencing? Right? strangest thing trying to get the paint off of this uh trying to get the paint off of this uh, oh look it's gonna it's coming off here yeah i always wanted to kind of get this off here oh anyway i am rambling
but I'm also getting the uh, getting the acrylic paint off this palette knife here. Isn't it great. Clean it up. Yeah, man, I don't know. I feel like I need a drill. Get all that stuff off. That's a good looking paint in there. That's a good one. A little one. Cute. Part of me, though, if I may ramble for a little bit longer. I got so much art around here. I kind of feel like I should have a a fire sale, you know what I mean? Not fire sale, but, you know, just kind of a, maybe a big sale, something. That might be a good idea. I don't know. Maybe it's not about price. Just get more views. Yeah, people don't have any money. Gave all that free money out. Now, now what? Now what? I was looking. Hold on here. Buddy of mine got an uh, email about temp work at the uh, concession stand at the minor league ballpark here in town. July 4th, $24 an hour to work. I think it was about five hours at the concession stand. You can make 125, almost 125 bucks. It's twenty-four dollars an hour, so forty-eight. Uh, yeah, that's that's like one hundred and twenty bucks for an evening's worth work. That, man, that's crazy. Blows my mind. I don't know. Getting the paint off this uh, palette knife here. Rambling. Nobody paying attention. That's all right. It's all right. Look at the beautiful art. Look at the beautiful art. Got a gallery. Got the gallery. Got the mailing list for the gallery. Substack. Love Substack. It's good. Getting this off here. It's great. Man, oh man. I don't think I'm going to buy any art supplies for a while. I've got too much. You know, I get into that habit where I just buy extra paints and buy extra papers and really should just use what I have. Repaint some old paintings and use the, uh, everything that I got, you know, use that up because I'd be end up with nothing but red paint. I got nothing but red and black paintings. Cause that's all I got left. Right. I want too much red paint, too much black paint, the red and the black. Well, you haven't been watching me off screen here, but, uh, I made quite a bit of progress here with the palette knife. I suppose I could just hold that over an open flame and hope I don't burn myself. Man. What a mess. All right. I'm going to go do this off camera here. I've been rambling too much. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to call this, but uh, I'll, I'll, it should be in the gallery by tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow night, I'll talk about it tomorrow night. Maybe work on another painting. Friday night. Who knows what will happen Friday night. Try to keep it cool. You know, on the down low. and Keep moving on, you know. That's all you can do. All right. That's it for this evening. 
Thanks for hanging out. Talk to you later.